Hi, I'm Joe. I'm a 77-year-old U.S. Army Vietnam veteran. I've been with Jerofit for over two years, and it's done me a lot of good. Today, I would like to introduce Katie, who will lead us through a chair workout to strengthen our core. Nearly all older adults can safely meet the national recommendations of engaging in low to moderate intensity physical activity. Do not exercise if you have any symptoms that have not been evaluated by your healthcare provider, such as pain in your chest, abdomen or joints, unusual swelling, difficulty catching your breath, dizziness or fluttering in your chest. If you experience any of these symptoms, stop and reevaluate before continuing. If you have any further questions, discuss your exercise plan with your healthcare provider. Thanks, Joe, for that introduction. As Joe mentioned, my name's Katie, and I work with the GeroFit program in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Today, I'm going to lead you through a series of exercises designed to help strengthen your core and lower back muscles. All these exercises will be done while you're sitting down, so all you'll need is a chair. I'm going to give you just a minute to go ahead and grab your chair. Make sure it's one without wheels and preferably one without arms. And then we'll get started. We're just going to go ahead and start today by warming up with a little march. Nice and easy, sitting up nice and tall in your chair. And as we go through the series of exercises that we're going to do today, I want you to really pace yourself and make sure that you're doing the modifications that you need to. Everybody has different things going on. So I'm going to show you some different ways to do things if you have shoulder pain or back pain. If any of these cause a lot of pain, feel free to just sit them out and wait for the next exercise to start as well. So go ahead, just keep marching. Just going to go for another couple seconds here. Good. We're going to start warming up our core. So this next exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap my right foot out to the right, sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to take my right hand and just reach over to the left wherever I'm able to. You don't have to go really far, just trying to get a little bit of movement through the spine here. Same thing, I'll tap out to the left, take my left hand over to the right. We're just going to go back and forth like that. Good job. And make sure you're breathing as we go through all these exercises today. You should never hold your breath. Nice deep breaths as we work through each of these. And we'll go ahead and reach up and over. Still tapping that foot out to the side. Just go as far as you feel comfortable. Your reach might be as small as this. Or if you have shoulder problems, you can even just do a little bit of a bend. Wherever you feel comfortable. A couple more here. adjust. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to talk about this a lot today. Good posture, engaging those core muscles and sitting up nice and tall. Don't let yourself kind of slump or slouch as we go through these exercises. The next few things we're going to do, if you're able to, I'm going to have you just resting your hands lightly on the back of your head. If you have shoulder problems or for some reason this movement just isn't something you can do, you're also welcome to cross your arms across your chest here. Either way is perfectly fine. I'll show you how to do the exercises both ways. First one we're gonna do is just a nice easy twist. So if my hands are on my head, I'm just gonna turn at the waist, side to side, looking to my left, and then looking to my right. Make sure this is nice and slow. You don't wanna go too fast and get yourself dizzy. 
and you'll be doing it the same way if you have your arms crossed. Just really try to turn those shoulders over to the right and to the left. Really thinking about sitting up nice and tall and engaging those core muscles as I do this movement. your head or keep them crossed depending on where you're at. Next thing we're going to do is the side bend. So I'm just going to think about taking my right elbow down toward the ground wherever I feel comfortable and then squeezing through the left side of my core to come back up nice and straight. Same thing, I'll take my left elbow down toward the floor and squeeze through the right side of my belly to come up nice and straight. And we're just going to go back and forth here. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. If you're a little tight or you have a little bit of pain, this movement might be really small, and that's perfectly fine. If you have your arms crossed, you're gonna be doing the same thing, except you might just think more about taking that shoulder down toward the ground, as opposed to the elbow, since the elbow will be out in front of you a little bit more with your arms crossed. Again, just go as far as you feel comfortable and then squeeze in the core to come back up, sitting up nice and straight in between each bend. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. You're doing great so far. Stick with it. Let's do two more in each direction. There's one, and two, good. As long as you're able, we'll keep your hands up on your head here. The next thing we're gonna do is a little bit of a lower back strengthening exercise. If you'd like, you can take your feet just a little bit wider. And regardless of whether I do this with my hands on my head or with my elbows crossed, I really wanna think about kind of keeping my shoulders back to help keep my back nice and flat. So I'm gonna come forward, lean forward as far as I feel comfortable. And then I'm gonna think about squeezing in my lower back to come back up nice and straight. I'm squeezing those shoulder blades together, which keeps me from kind of letting my arms roll forward. And again, if your arms are crossed across your chest, you're doing the same thing. It just might be a little bit of a smaller movement or you may have to take your legs out just a little bit wider so that your elbows don't kind of stop you there. And really think about keeping those shoulder blades pulled back. Don't let yourself kind of round forward. If you have back pain, as you go through these, this might be a lot smaller movement for you. You might only be able to go a few inches forward and then have to sit back up, and that's fine. You're still gonna get something out of this. Just really focus on keeping your core engaged and squeezing in those lower back muscles as you come back to that straight up position. Make sure you're breathing as you do this. Don't hold your breath. sit up nice and tall. The next exercise we're going to do, again, I'm going to show a couple modifications. There's a few different ways to do this one. Um, the most advanced way, if you will, is we're going to take our hands straight up in the air 
and then I'm going to bring my left knee up as I kind of bring my elbows down and crunch. And then I'm gonna to go to my right knee, back and forth, sitting up nice and straight in between each crunch, just like that. If you're able to do that comfortably, you can continue on with that. But as I mentioned, there are some modifications. So again, if you're unable to take your arms up overhead, then you just keep your arms right here and I'm just bringing my legs up back and forth right here. And only come up as far as you feel comfortable. Again, your crunch might be a really small movement right now if you don't have very strong core or if you're a little weak in your hips. This might be as much of a movement you're doing and that's perfectly fine. Again, just work with where you're at today. Don't try and push it too much. Rather you build up to it than cause injury. Really focus on sitting up nice and tall in between each one of these. You guys are doing great. We're over halfway done now. Let's do two more on each side here. There's one and two. And go ahead and relax. Readjust if you need to. Get yourself sitting up nice and tall. And the next thing we're gonna do is a dead bug. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna sit up nice and tall and I'm gonna straighten my left leg and take my right arm up overhead. I'm really thinking about sitting up tall and engaging my core here. Don't let myself slump. And then I'm gonna come down and I'll raise my left arm and straighten out my right leg. alternating back and forth, making sure we're paying attention to breathing as we do these, and really paying attention to sitting up nice and tall, and engaging those belly muscles. Just like everything else, modify to where you need to. So you might just barely be picking that foot up off the ground, You might only be moving the leg and not moving the arm because your shoulders don't let you go straight up overhead. That's fine. Just work with where you're at today and really focus on those core muscles. And then let's go ahead. We're going to keep with that, but now we're going to do same arm, same leg. So left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. Still sitting up nice and tall. Still breathing as you go through these exercises. So two more on each side here. There's one. And two. Good. Last exercise here. Going to be a little bit of a hip strengthener. We're going to do a reverse crunch. So for this one, if you need to, you can hold on to the bottom of your chair for balance, for stabilization. What I'm going to do is instead of taking my upper body down, I'm going to reverse it and bring my knees up. So at its very basic, you're just going to be going right knee crunch up, sit up tall, left knee crunch up. I'm just going to go back and forth. And again, the size of this movement is gonna depend on where you're at. It might just be a little tiny crunch if you have pain when you bend forward, or if you don't have a lot of hip strength to really lift those legs up. It might just be a small movement, and that's fine. Just work where you're at. If you wanna add a little bit more of a challenge, you can add in lifting both legs. So I lift my right leg, lift my left leg, and then I crunch up both legs. Left leg, both legs. Both 
legs is too much, just keep on going with the right and the left here. We're just about done. So two more on each side. There's one and two. Good. Take a nice deep breath. You guys made it through all the exercises. Go ahead and readjust so you're sitting up nice and tall again if you kind of got pulled down a little bit during that last exercise. We're just gonna work through a couple of stretches really briefly here and then we'll call it a day. First thing we're gonna do is a spinal twist. So I'm gonna take my left hand and rest it on my right knee. Take my right hand and reach behind to the back of the chair or wherever you're comfortable. It may be the arm of the chair. And I'm just gonna turn and look wherever I'm able to over that right shoulder. Should give you just a little twist in the lower back. Don't try and crank around as far as you can. Just a nice gentle twist and nice deep breaths as you're in this stretch. center nice and easy. Then I'm going to go ahead and rest my right hand and my left knee. My left hand is going to reach around to the back of the chair or wherever I'm able to. And I'm just going to turn gently and look over that left shoulder. And take a few nice deep breaths while I'm in the stretch. Uh, just a couple of cat cow stretches while we're sitting here. So what we're really trying to do is we're trying to get a little bit of movement through the pelvis and the hips here and a little bit of movement in the lower back. So what I want you to think about doing is kind of rocking up on the front of your pelvis and then I'm going to push my chest up and forward. I'm going to think about pushing my belly forward, kind of squeezing my shoulder blades down and back. And if you're able to, you can tip your head up toward the ceiling just a little bit. We're just trying to get a nice arch in that lower back area. Nice deep breaths. Again, you're not trying to overstretch here. You're not trying to crank into any positions. Just go to where you feel a gentle stretch and hold there. And we'll come back to center. And now I'm going to think about kind of rolling back on my pockets. So if I was wearing jeans, I'd want my pockets to be hitting the chair. And I kind of make like somebody just punched me in the belly. So I'm going to kind of round forward. Let my shoulders roll forward. Try and pull my belly button back toward my spine. Kind of give myself a good stretch through the back of my body here. And we'll go ahead and come back to a seated position. We'll go through that one more time. So I'm going to rock forward on my pelvis. I'm going to push my chest forward, squeeze my shoulder blades down the back, and tip my nose up toward the ceiling if I'm able to. If not, you can just keep your head in a neutral position. Trying to get a little arch in that lower back. And then I'm going to rock back onto my pockets and just kind of round forward. Think about pulling my belly button in like somebody's punching me in the belly. And let my chin relax down toward my chest. Nice deep breaths. And we'll come back up to the seated position. One last stretch here. I just want to stretch everything you feel like you need to stretch. I'm going to take my hands up overhead as best I'm able to. If you have shoulder problems, you may not go up overhead. You might just think more about doing this through your core and your chest. But I just want to think about reaching my fingers up to the ceiling, lifting my chest, stretching through my belly. Think about making my 
neck as long as I can. Nice big stretch. You can go a little bit over to the left if you feel like it's comfortable and it might feel good. Hold it over to the right again if it's comfortable. One last big stretch. You can go ahead and relax your hands down onto your knees. And we're just going to take a couple of nice deep breaths here. I want you to breathe in for the count of five. Nice long deep breath in. And breathe out nice and slow. And then. And out. Job, you guys you made it through the workout I hope you enjoyed it if you want more workouts like this go to YouTube search hashtag GeroFit exercise we're always adding more videos and I really hope you enjoy them all thank you